October 16th, Election Day. Rajesh Rao. The teacher asked me to be an impartial judge on Election Day. She also asked me to clean the board, log in the class computers, help Newt find his pencils, sit by kids who get in trouble, be the captain of patrols. She says I'm a good influence. She calls me responsible. Maybe I should have run. Instead, I'm counting votes for Hannah and George. Don't worry. I'm too responsible to tell anyone when the kids on George's Save Our School ticket win by a landslide. October 20th. My way. Hannah Wiles. Shoshana says I always have to get my way. That is so not true. If I always got my way, I would have won the class election. If I always got my way, I would have been picked for safety patrols instead of Rachel Stein. If I always got my way, my parents would still be married. I wouldn't have a stepmother and two annoying half-brothers. If I always got my way, I wouldn't have to go live with my father for the rest of the school year. If Shoshana weren't so mad at me, I'd tell her. If I always got my way, my mother wouldn't be deploying. October 21st, field trip, Edgar Lee Jones. Why did my mom sign up to chaperone? I'll have to answer questions like, who's she? Your mom is white? Well, should I be a clone with her light hair and skin, not brown like me? I'll slide down in my seat and read a book so kids won't stare at us the whole bus ride. I hate when they're pretending not to look. My mom is cool. Why should I have to hide? So what if I'm black and also white? Who cares that I don't just look just like my mom? My family is different, but we're tight. Get over it because there's nothing wrong. If someone gets up in my face today, at least that's what I think I'm going to say. October 22nd, news at the museum. Sloan Costly. So my mother, who chaperones everything, had to come to the museum, and the one thing she wanted me and Sydney, Tyler, Mark, and Gabby to see was photos from some famous women's liberty march in Washington, D.C. Because my crazy hippie grandmother was there, doing embarrassing, inappropriate stuff, like lighting fire to her underwear. And I'm looking close, trying to spot Nana, when Tyler says, Hey! And he points to a face in a photograph. There is a girl in a paisley scarf, turning around to scream, at the policeman handcuffing her. And Tyler says, it looks like a lot like that old picture of Miss Hill. October 23rd, getting the message. Rachel Shaco Stein. Sloan took a picture. She sent the picture to Hannah with a text. Is this Miss Hill? Hannah sent it to Shoshana, who forwarded it to Jason, who showed it to Edgar and Raj. Soon our whole class was crowded in front of a single photograph at the museum. We've all seen the picture on Miss Hill's desk. It must have been taken the same day, when she marched for women's rights in Washington, D.C. Miss Hill is always telling us to make our voices heard. We are starting to get the message. October 24th, Speaking My Mind. Rennie Rollins. Dear Miss Hill, the whole class is talking about the picture on your desk when you're standing on the steps of Capitol Hill. The whole class is saying you were really brave, speaking your mind to the government. But the whole class is saying we're just fifth graders. Who's going to listen to us? I say, yes, we are fifth graders. We should stand up for the younger kids at this school. Like my sister, Phoenix. I promised her I'd do whatever it takes so she could stay at Emerson next year, and I'd be right next door at Montgomery Middle. Maybe it's true. A bunch of fifth graders have no say about what happens to our school. But in fifth grade, we're supposed to be studying democracy and constitutional rights, right? Well, I already know the First Amendment is the... Right to free speech. Your student, Rennie.